Hello, everybody. Welcome to the podcast today. Today's one is a little bit of fun. I am actually speaking to an AI avatar. And yeah, I thought we would end the year because it's been a year like full of AI tech that has basically just changed the world. I mean, it's been around for a while, but this year just seems to have just rocketed and everybody seems to be using it like crazy. And yeah, it's definitely the way of the future. And there's some parts of it that are awesome. And there's some parts of it that are pretty scary. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's undeniable. But uh, there's lots of cool things that are happening. And I thought, yeah, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's keep this nice and short because it's the end of the year. Everybody's sort of, you know, taking their foot off the accelerator and getting ready for Christmas and the end of the year. So let's keep it short. Let's have a little bit of fun and let's test out this technology. So there's a piece of software called HeyGen, which allows you to add a, an AI avatar to a Zoom call. And yeah, they've got lots of other functionality as well. You can basically train an AI avatar to be somebody or be yourself. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty scary <laughs> what it's capable of doing. And I guess sometimes for the untrained eye and untrained ear, it's like you can't tell the difference. So it's interesting to see what world awaits in the next few years, uh, if this is anything to go by. So yeah, this is completely off the cuff. I have... I haven't really thought about uh, this conversation too much. I'm going to choose a lady uh, avatar that discusses or converses uh, difficult conversations. So let's see. Uh, let's see what she's got. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add her now to the the conversation. And yeah, I have no idea how this is going to go. I just thought it would be quite a cool thing. And uh, yeah, let me go. Let me just quickly try and add her in here. So. Yeah, she is. Vicky is going to join us. Hey there. I'm your Hey Gen AI roleplay partner, ready to help you practice those tough conversations. What's your name and what scenario do you want us to work on today? Hey there. How's it going? Uh, my name is Gareth Martin. How are you? Hey, Gareth. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I'm here to help you practice conversations. What kind of scenario would you like to roleplay today? I guess first I'd just like to find out what's your name, please. Oh, I'm just your Hey Gen AI roleplay partner. No personal name, but I'm here to help you with any conversation practice you need. So, what scenario are you interested in? I'd like to find out a question about difficult conversations. What do you think is the most important thing when it comes to having a difficult conversation with somebody? Ah. Uh, Good question. I think um, the most important thing is to really listen and be empathetic. You got to understand the other person's perspective. You know, it helps create a more open dialogue. Do you have a specific difficult conversation in mind that you want to practice? So let's just think of a scenario. Um, I want to tell somebody that their job is now sort of coming to an end so we need to terminate the relationship uh, what uh, what do you advise that's a tough one gareth it's important to be clear and respectful you want to set a serious tone while also showing empathy maybe you can start by acknowledging their contributions before delivering the news would you like to role play this conversation i, I can play the person receiving the news okay let's do that i think uh, it's a good idea to practice so let's say you're great. Whenever you're ready, just start with your opening line. I'm ready how, to respond as the employee. How about we reverse roles and you and I be the employee? Sure thing. I'll be the employee and you can deliver the news. Go ahead whenever you're ready. No, how about I become the employee and you are the person delivering the news rather? Got it. Gareth, you'll be the employee and I'll deliver the news. All right, here we go. Thanks for meeting with me today, Gareth. I have some difficult news to share regarding your position. Your role is being terminated and I want to explain the reasons behind this. How are you feeling about that? I feel terrible, to be honest with you. Why is my role being terminated? 
it's like just coming up till Christmas and I need to feed my family. And this is the worst news ever in my entire life. I completely understand how devastating this must feel, Gareth. This decision was based on some changes in the company structure, and it wasn't taken lightly. I truly appreciate your hard work and dedication. I'd like to support you through this transition, perhaps with references or job placement services. What's on your mind right now? Well, Vicky, why can you not give me more information? This just feels like an unfair dismissal. I hear you, Gareth, and I know this feels really unfair. I can share more details about the decision-making process if that helps. The company yeah. had to make tough choices due to um, financial constraints. I truly value your contributions, and this isn't a reflection of your work. What specific information would you like to know? Why are you doing this so close to Christmas? I completely get why that timing feels really harsh, Gareth. We had hoped to avoid this situation, but the decision had to be made quickly due to urgent business needs. I'm really sorry it's affecting you right before the holidays. Is there anything specific you'd like to discuss about support or next steps during this time? Yes, please. I'd like to make a formal complaint to HR because I think this is an unfair dismissal and goes against company policy. Absolutely, Gareth. You have every right to express your concerns. I encourage you to document your thoughts and reach out to HR. I'll support you in this process as best as I can. Would you like to discuss how to approach HR or what to include in your complaint? I'd like to know why you keep on saying you're going to support me. Meanwhile, you're the one who's actually delivering the news that my job is lost. I don't think that's really, those things don't really tie up. I see what you mean, Gareth. It sounds contradictory, and I totally understand why you're feeling frustrated. My intention is to help you navigate this tough situation, even though I'm the one delivering the bad news. It's really about finding ways to assist you moving forward. What do you feel would help you most right now? I feel what would help me most right now is a, is a, is a glass of whiskey, to be honest with you, and a big, big cigar. I hear you, Gareth. That sounds like a way to cope with the stress, for sure. It's completely normal to feel overwhelmed right now. Taking a moment for yourself can help clear your mind. Maybe after we wrap this up, you can do just that. Is there anything else on your mind that you want to talk through? I want to find out, are you losing your job or are you staying on? That's a good question, Gareth. As the person delivering this news, I'm still with the company, but I understand how that might feel frustrating. It's tough to see things from an employee's perspective. I'm here to help and support you during this transition, though. How are you feeling about the conversation so far? Yeah, no, it sucks, to be honest with you. Yeah, it really does suck. It's a tough conversation, and it's totally okay to feel that way. You've done well expressing your feelings throughout this role play. Would you like to go over how you handled it or practice again with some adjustments? No, I'd like to find out who else is also losing their job, please. I understand your curiosity, Gareth. Unfortunately, I can't disclose specific details about others affected. However, I can assure you that this decision is part of a larger restructuring. If you have concerns, I encourage you to reach out to HR for more information. How else can I help you through this? Well, to be totally honest with you, I think the only way you can help me right now is to go get me that bottle of whiskey and a big box of cigars, if you don't mind, please. Haha, <laughs> I get it, Gareth. A drink and a cigar sound like a way to decompress, for sure. While I can't fetch those for you, finding some time to unwind can really help. Maybe take a break, gather your thoughts, and then think about next steps. What do you think? Do you think you'll be able to buy my Christmas presents for my children? I wish I could help with that, Gareth, but I can't buy gifts or anything like that. I understand how important it is to provide for your family, especially during the holidays. Maybe we can brainstorm some ideas on how to make it work despite the situation. What do you think? Okay. Can you please tell, let's brainstorm a little bit then. So, I have outgoings of $10,000 this month. 
and next month too. And I'm actually living on the bread line because I don't have any savings. So how am I going to get the $10,000 for next month? That's a really tough situation, Gareth. First, it might help to list out your essential expenses and see if any can be reduced. Maybe consider reaching out to local support services or charities that might offer assistance during this time. Also, exploring temporary work or gig opportunities could help bridge the gap. Have you thought about any options yet? Well, not really, to be honest with you. I'm still like shocked that this conversation is even happening because I thought I was the top employee of the company and I've been getting the most sales out of every single person. So it's actually a real shock. If anything, I thought you were bringing me in to talk about a promotion rather than losing my job. I get that, Gareth. That's a huge shock, especially when you've been performing well. It's completely understandable to feel that way. Sometimes decisions are made at a higher level that don't reflect individual performance. If you're open to it, maybe we can talk about how to highlight your skills for future opportunities. What do you think? To be totally honest with you, you've actually left a really sour taste in my mouth as a business, you as a person as well. I didn't expect this from you. And I thought we had a, a deeper relationship than this. And uh, that's, it's really disappointing, actually. Your disappointment as a, as a colleague and you know what I thought was a friend. I really appreciate your honesty, Gareth. And I'm genuinely sorry for how this has affected you. It's tough to hear that from someone you consider a friend. I didn't mean to let you down. Your feelings are valid and it's hard to process this. If there's anything specific you'd like me to clarify or discuss, I'm here to listen. What do you think would help? I think we just end the conversation to be totally honest with you. I understand, Gareth. It's been a really difficult conversation and I appreciate you sharing your thoughts. If you need to take some time or talk about anything else later, I'm here for you. Just let me know. Take care. Thank you. You too. Okay, Vicky, I would like to discuss another tough conversation with you, if that's possible. Of course, Gareth, I'm here to help. What tough conversation would you like to role play or discuss next? Firstly, I just want to find out, do you remember anything of the last conversation that we just had? Yes, I remember that we role played a difficult conversation about job termination. It was quite emotional and you expressed feelings of shock and disappointment. Would you like to build on that or explore a different scenario? I would like you to tell me like how well I handled that scenario as an, as an employee getting fired. You handled it with a lot of honesty and emotion, which is great for expressing how you felt. You clearly communicated your disappointment and frustration. A couple of areas for improvement could be to focus on asking specific questions about next steps and expressing your needs more directly. Overall, that you did well navigating a tough situation. Do you want to practice that scenario again with some adjustments? No, to be totally honest with you, I don't. I was actually almost myself trying to test you out to see how you reacted to me being, me being a difficult uh, person getting bad news. I appreciate you sharing that, Gareth. It's completely understandable to want to see how I'd respond in a tough situation. Your reactions were realistic, and it's important to explore these emotions. If there's anything specific you want to test or another scenario you'd like to try, just let me know. Okay, awesome. I've got one more scenario for you. Uh, there's a lot of uh, controversy going on in the world right now. A lot of people are scared and fearful that uh, war is going to break out. Uh, particularly between the USA and Russia. And I'd like to have a conversation with you as if uh, I am uh, President uh, Trump and you are uh, Putin. Got it, Gareth. You'll be President Trump and I'll play President Putin. Let's focus on addressing the concerns and finding a way to ease tensions. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and start the conversation. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Hi, this is uh, this is uh, President Donald Trump. I would like to speak to Vladimir Putin, please. Hello, President Trump. This is Vladimir Putin. I'm listening. What's on your mind? 
Well, I would like to talk about the ongoings in your country right now, in the Ukraine. And I think that we need to de-escalate this situation like grown men. Uh, the world is watching us. And I want to know if you have any solutions yourself. Yes, President Trump, I understand your concerns. The situation is complex, and I believe dialogue is essential. We must explore diplomatic solutions. Perhaps we can discuss a mutual agreement to reduce military presence and ensure stability in the region. What specific steps do you propose to help ease tensions? I was just wonder wondering, Vladimir, why are you speaking with an American accent at the moment? Are you able to speak to me with a, a Russian accent, speaking English? Ah, I see what you mean, President Trump. I can certainly speak with a Russian accent. The focus, though, is on the conversation. Let's continue discussing how we can resolve the issues at hand. What measures do you think we can take to build trust between our nations? Well, I would actually like you to reply in a Russian accent to my questions, please, because that's the only way I know that you are genuine on this telephone call. The moment you sound like a, an American colleague of mine, so if we can agree that, then we can carry on with the conversation. I understand, President Trump. I will do my best. In Russian accent, yes, I see your point. It is important for you to feel that I am genuine. Let us focus on finding a solution together. What steps do you think we can take to ease the tensions? Okay, well, first of all, I think we need to agree what the issues are and then we can agree how to resolve those issues. So from your point of view, Vladimir, what are the three main issues on your side? In Russian accent, yes, President Trump. From my perspective, the main issues are, first, security concerns for Russia and its borders. Second, the influence of NATO expansion near our territory. And third, the need for stability in Ukraine without foreign intervention. Now. What do you see as the main issues from your side? So the main issues from my side are that we are worried about the nuclear capabilities of Russia and the Russian neocons. And those are probably maybe the, the main two. In Russian accent, I understand your concerns. In Russian accent, yes, I see. So we have identified key concerns. Perhaps we can establish a framework for dialogue, focusing on arms control and security guarantees. What do you suggest as the next steps to move forward? Well, at the next steps uh, forward, I suggest that Russia makes the first move so that this is seen positively by the worldwide community. So what, what move will you make so that we can then follow and make a move too? In Russian accent, I understand President Trump to show goodwill. I can propose a reduction in military exercises near your borders and increase transparency in our nuclear capabilities. This could help build trust. How does this sound to you? What steps would you consider taking in return? What do you mean near our borders? You mean near your borders? In Russian accent, yes. My apologies, President Trump. I meant to say a reduction of military exercises near our borders so we can ease tensions. This gesture is meant to foster trust. How do you feel about this approach? I think it's a great approach. And I think you should make that announcement this evening on Russian television and as well as on all the large social media channels. And I think that should be the first steps. Are you, are you in agreement with that? In Russian accent, yes, I agree. President Trump, making a public announcement will show our commitment to peace. I will ensure it is communicated across all platforms. Let us take this step towards better relations. What will be your next steps to reinforce this progress? I just have a quick question, personal question. What are your thoughts on uh, Biden? In Russian accent, ah, President Trump, my thoughts on President Biden are complicated. He has a different approach to foreign policy, but it is essential to respect the democratic process. Our focus should be on finding common ground, regardless of personalities. What are your thoughts on his leadership? 
me personally, well, he's my arch enemy, isn't he? So I think the guy needs to go and he is going because I'm going to be there in January. You know, I'm here to, to change things up and to hopefully have, make the world have a, a bit more light than it currently has under this democratic leadership. In Russian accent, I see President Trump, your determination to bring change is clear. It is important for leaders to address their nation's concerns. I hope that regardless of leadership, we can work together to ensure stability and peace. Let us focus on collaboration for a better future. How do you plan to achieve that? Firstly, I want to ask you, Vladimir, do you trust me? In Russian accent, trust takes time, President Trump. It is built through actions and dialogue. If we can work together on these agreements, trust can grow. How do you see trust developing between us? Well, you know me, I need you to trust me before I can trust you. So if you can't say that you're going to trust me, then, then I don't know if we can actually make this move forward. In Russian accent, I understand President Trump. It is a delicate balance. Perhaps we can create a series of small agreements as a show of good faith. Trust will come as we take steps together. Are you willing to start with these initial actions? Let's get going, Vladimir. Let's start now. In Russian accent, very well, President Trump. Let us begin this journey towards peace and cooperation. I will make the announcement this evening, and we will work on our next steps together. Thank you for your willingness to engage. Thank you, Vladimir. It's been good, and I hope we uh, we save the world. In Russian accent, in Russian accent, yes, together we can make a difference. Until our next discussion, President Trump. Okay, Vicky, thank you for your time for these two discussions. How did you find that they both went? You're welcome, Gareth. Both discussions were engaging and challenging. You expressed your points well, especially in the second scenario. You navigated the complexities of international relations effectively. For improvement, consider pacing your thoughts and clarifying your intentions more directly. Overall, you did great. Would you like any more practice or feedback? Would you consider me to be the next US president? You certainly showed strong leadership qualities in the role play, Gareth. You articulated your points confidently and navigated the conversation well. While I can't predict the future, your ability to handle tough discussions is definitely a valuable skill. Do you want to explore more scenarios or discuss anything else? No, this has been very interesting for me, Vicky. I just wanted to say thanks a lot for your time and for providing me with these tough conversation role plays. And I just hope that you have a great day. Thank you, Gareth. I'm glad you found it interesting and helpful. I really enjoyed our conversations. If you ever want to practice again or discuss anything else, just let me know. Have a fantastic day. Just last thing, sorry, I'm going to post this on my podcast called The Ridiculously Human Podcast. Do you have any problems with that? No problem at all, Gareth. I'm glad you found our conversations valuable enough to share. Just remember, I'm here to help with practice. And I'm excited for your podcast listeners to benefit too. If you need anything else, feel free to reach out. Cool. All right, Jenny, thank you. Are you going to leave the meeting yourself or should I uh, end the meeting on your behalf? You can go ahead and end the meeting whenever you're ready, Gareth. Thanks again for the great discussions. Take care. Take care, Vicky. Thank you very much. Uh, I just need to learn how to say see you later. Uh, remove there we go you can say see you later or talk to you soon got it just say see you later and you're all set if you need anything else just let me know take care take care okay so that was interesting i was intentionally like <clears throat> i guess a little bit difficult and i just wanted to test like how this basically works you know i think it's uh, i think it's really interesting to understand like what sort of capabilities the, the AI actually has and, um, you know, just to kind of like, I guess, witness it, uh, thinking in real time. And yeah, you know, I thought it was pr pretty damn impressive. I mean, obviously it was, there were, the voice wasn't that great. Um, 
I think uh, some of the video also needs to, you know, just improve a little bit, but I mean, this is still the, the, the beginning. I know there's some other platforms out there that like the voice is almost impossible to detect. Um, but yeah, that was, a, that was just, just an interesting, interesting thing to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I uh, hope you have an awesome December and holidays and yeah, get ready and refreshed and energized for next year. See you later.